You know, it's funny. No matter how old we get, it all comes back to the children we once were long ago. Back to the little girl trying to have a boy catch a baseball she threw. Playing and having fun on the playground. And she ends up breaking a window. <laughs> when the person who owns the window comes out to ask them, who broke his window? The little girl says, it's not my fault. He didn't catch the ball. And the little boy says, what ball? Welcome to reality. Let's look at how this plays out in a much larger social context. Everything we are today goes back to our defense mechanisms. These were formed in childhood long ago. So if you want to understand someone, understand their defense mechanisms. Some of them are more simple than others. Others are extremely complex. They, but they're designed, they're all designed, they're all designed. They are all designed to do one thing, to shield us from the brutal reality that we believe we are not loved, do not love ourselves, and finally, don't have what it takes to survive and thrive in this world because of this. You see, we are quite adaptable. We morph into any form we need to in order to survive. Therefore, we are quite vulnerable as well. More so than most people realize. Should someone or something control that adaptation, Without the necessary level of discernment, no matter what your intentions or what you think you believe, you can be molded into anything. Anything. Consider the defense mechanism of distortion or obfuscation. The process of actually seeing things from a positive perspective and from a negative perspective and then choosing which perspective you want to believe or to tell others to believe based on your mood and objectives in, an, in the moment. That's a nasty one. Lawyers do this, and it represents the foundation of our legal system and our idea of our right to regulate the behavior of others by force and coercion. The idea being that the truth is irrelevant the only thing that is relevant is what people think the truth is. The question is, why does this defense mechanism exist? Why does this idea of distorting things so you're not accountable exist? Well, what it boils down to is that this kind of person who avoids real accountability at all costs. This is the kind of person who avoids real accountability at all costs. And they do that by distorting things. And in such a way that you can't even determine what the truth is anymore if you listen to them. This represents the core of their psyche. 
And all of their ideas revolve around this one concept. To be accountable is death to them. And they will destroy anyone who seeks to make them accountable. Hence the legal system. The most evil system ever created was born. Because it thrives and feeds off of conflict and lies.